Hello, cycly folks. We are the Rad Bike Adventure, and today we're gonna be showing you everything we brought on our trip for a year-long adventure that we went on. Actually, more than a year. It year was and about a half. 15 months. Mm -hmm. Where'd we go, Dan? What'd we do? Uh, we went to Europe, we went to Asia, and we went to the Oceania mm -hmm. section of the world, which would be Australia and New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we took a little detour to the Pacific Coast. Yeah, that wasn't enough. We're like, let's no. fly to Vancouver and ride all the way home. So yeah. those vlogs are all over here. I can link a couple mm -hmm. playlists for you guys up here if you're curious about checking out our vlogs. And we also, at the beginning of our trip, we actually did a video really similar to this where we took out everything, kind of went through it and gave our quick opinion. Mm -hmm. So I thought, now it's the end of the trip. We should do it again and kind of reassess. Yeah, it'll be a retrospective of our touring setup. We've learned a few things about what works and what doesn't. So I think that if you just settle in and watch this video, you find it really helpful. Hopefully that's what we're going for. Exactly. Enjoy. All right. Let's get started. Let's get to business. So you're ready, you're settled in, you've got something to drink, you've got something to eat, because we might be here a while. We're gonna go through all of our stuff right but now. But hopefully not too while. <laughs> not too while, Dan's like, I got things to I do. Got things to do. So <laughs> here we go, let's unpack. Woo. Starting with Darren. First big item that you took along would be your bicycle. So exactly. would you so pack that again? I took the Trek 520 and I would definitely take it again. And I mean, no like mechanical issues oh, over that entire no time. No mechanical issues. No. So my bike, I have the, Kona Sutra and I absolutely loved my Sutra. She is so durable and just comfortable to ride. Like we became one on this trip. If I was gonna go on another trip, you know, tomorrow, I would not be looking for a new bike. I'd just be like, I have the perfect bike already. Brooks Saddle, yes, I recommend that for all of you guys that are asking, wondering, is that comfortable? Yes, we love our Brooks Saddles and I would take them on every trip and have them on every bike if I could. Yep. So yeah. I exchanged my canvas bags for these Ortlieb waterproof bags. And I highly, highly recommend Ortlieb. Sweet design. Yeah. This is a classic standby. Yep. I haven't met one person that's like, Ortlieb's, why? That's, they're just a great bag. Yeah, no, they're perfect. And the, the way that they hold onto your bag too with the locking me mechanism is really nice. That was something I was a little jealous of with your bags because yours really lock in and then they pull off when you go to lift yeah. them off. My bags that I use are Axiom. These are a little bit more budget friendly. These were on their second trip. So they had had a little bit more wear already, but for the most part, they held up. They're not waterproof like the Ortlabs, but they are quite water resistant and they have a pocket, which I really like. You know, rag or tools, things like that. It's empty right now. Or Over yeah, it could be I like think I had dirty, honey and peanut butter or something. It could be a dirty pouch on the other one. Yeah, exactly. And then this, so the way this hooks on is it just like holds on to the rails and then it's just hooked with the elastic and it's just not as secure. What I would do is I'd have a dry bag in here. So I'd make sure this is pretty cinched up, you know, all the way cinched, this is over. And then the dry bag inside, I really didn't have too much trouble with my stuff getting wet. Occasionally I'd have like a pool at the bottom of my bag. So I think things were kind of slowly leaking through, but as long as I had it all in the dry bag inside, I was fine. And then I would just usually grab this and take it into the tent with me. Dry bags, always recommend, I would keep those for sure. Dry bags, yes. Dry bags. So this little guy is a luggage cube. And I would take this with again. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're doing bike packing and we were taking less items, I would just get a smaller one. I just still think it's nice to be able to just be like, here's all my clothes and it's all in one little package. And it acts as a pillow, which but, I started using. So kill two birds with one stone. I was a little suspicious of taking the <laughs> luggage cell. Yeah, she was like, what? I don't need luggage cube. It lets you organize and you know which one's dirty, which is clean and... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Helpful. Helpful for organizing your stuff. And yeah, it keeps it a little cleaner. Like your stuff's always going to kind of be grimy when you're on tour, but slightly cleaner. Okay. Let's find out what's inside. Woolly hat. Totally. I'd keep that again. Wool shirt. hundred percent. This is my favorite thing to wear on tour. At Wool least shirt, one, yes. at least one, possibly two. I think two would be worth it. Nice shorts to have like something that's not my cycle gear. I did appreciate having that. Off the bike shorts. Yeah, just something for off the bike that's not the same old, same old, just to mix it up. That's mm -hmm. that's just me. If you're like totally efficiency only, then I'd say no. But for me, I liked having a, a little distance. spot of color and yeah. Oh my God, my fleece pants. Yes, I love these things. If I was going cold weather, 100% I would take these with. I probably got 10 more degrees in my sleeping bag at night. I was jealous. <laughs> yeah, they were worth it. I'd take those again on cold weather adventures. Couple t-shirts. Yeah, I'd take a t-shirt. Again, just like off the bike stuff, just to mix it up a little bit. Have one 
outfit that is a non like cycling outfit at least just to keep your sanity yeah just keep your sanity it, like my glowing sky shirt yes long sleeve wool i would take that again yeah you need one long sleeve one say. nice shirt eh, i could probably give this a miss i think when i was off the bike i just wanted to wear something super comfy and a t-shirt for me is that thing it was nice that i could dress up a little bit mm -hmm. but mm, it's not I don't know if I'd take this again if I was going super slow streamlined. Sun shirt, nah, doesn't really bring me that much joy. At least it that does, one in particular. Yeah, it, bring, it protects me, but I'd rather just wear like sleeves or sunscreen. And I didn't wear it enough, so I think I would leave that behind too. Cycling cap, yeah, I like having a cycling cap. I just love hats, so I always want to have at least one hat on, on hand, on head, and a buff. Yes, buff always. Mm -hmm. Buff super useful. That's coming with me. Cycling shorts, yes. Heck yeah, take those, those are my faves. A high-vis jacket. Yes. Absolutely. It's nice to have something high-vis. Not the most attractive thing, but it definitely made me feel safer in those like really low light days and rainy mm -hmm. days. And if you have to be on the road. Yeah, and it's a good warmth layer mm -hmm. too. So high-vis, yes, and it's, it's so light and it packs down so small. I like this guy. Yes, wool underwear, I would take that again. Leggings, wool leggings, I would definitely take those again. They have um, seen some love on the road. I wore these almost every single day for like a year. Especially for the fall and winter. Yeah. yeah. 100% I would take wool leggings again. The rain pants. Yes, rain pants. We go back and forth on well, it. And it's true. It really depends on the temperature and how much rain you'll be getting. Because mm. if it's warm enough, you'll be fine. It's just like too hot. Yeah, it's just too hot. There, yeah. there was only New Zealand and maybe parts of Canada. That and Tasmania, we, and once. Tasmania once, where we yeah. were actually cold enough to wear the rain pants because <laughs> yeah, we would just true. get too hot. That is true. And then you'd have to vent them out and yeah. take them off. I think you're right. I think that for a short trip, I might not take them, but for long term, it's just a good thing to have, like in an emergency. Because when those yeah. moments did arise, I was very thankful to have them, like when it was in a so deluge. If like, you're gonna do like a summer trip that's short, probably I, not. I would no. need it. It's only I would only use it for light. Or if you were light doing touring. like that country, yeah, and like you know, if yeah. you only want one pant option, then wear these. Wear those. Yeah. And you're not touring. Right. Like you're bikepacking. Another sweater here. I've had this sweater for ages. This is a tough one for me. It still provides a lot of warmth, but the polyester. It is polyester, so it gets a little stinky faster than the wool. I might give this away. I might put this in the no pile and do the wool over that. So but if you're a person that runs cold, I you, I might recommend polyester for you over the wool because you do get You just have to understand you will smell. Yeah. <laughs> and it will smell. All right, this is just all underwear and stuff. Buff, a little few more buffs. Yes, I would definitely keep three pairs of socks. That's what I had before. A warm pair of socks and then a couple others. And underwear, I'm not a person that just takes one pair of underwear. We each had, I think, four pairs. Mm -hmm. You could do it with two pairs, two. but I, I just, would say two. But I like having yeah. a couple extra pairs. I don't know. That's just me personally. Mm -hmm. Especially like two for two. women. Like, you know, you're getting your period. Mm -hmm. like, you want to have a backup. Yeah, exactly. So a couple sports bras, tiny mini towel, pretty small. Darren's is a little bit bigger. I think I could go a size up and still be okay. Because this is more just like a little washcloth. Mm -hmm. But I do love this style of towel. We'll put links to all of the stuff in the description below. We'll have links. It doesn't smell. It dries fast. Little micro towel. Oh, we have like female personal items of course you got to have some of that reusable pads we also have a menstrual cup mm -hmm. got to keep those with if it's a shorter trip might not need to a notebook yes a notebook is always good to have i think next time though i would take like a nicer like one of those more hard bound like the moleskins because sometimes this would get like easily bent and like you can see it's mm -hmm. really warped i think a, a harder journal that's a little bit smaller would have been nicer just mail it to yourself yeah, and then just mail it to yourself. Like, I really trust the postal system. I have yet to lose anything, so. A couple, I've got my sandals in here. These are my Lunas. We also have Bedrocks. I probably only needed one pair of sandals. I had two. I think I would just go one the next time. It Definitely. was a little excessive. Yeah. One pair of shoes and one S pair of sandals. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. Yes, that would be funny. Okay, just a couple other pieces of clothing that I keep in this bag. Yes, always. These are great. So much warmth for so little space such a nice thing to put on at the end of the day and definitely helps when you're in your sleeping bag at night to get even a little cozier when it's really mm -hmm. cold so this is a solid must. yes a must and then a rain jacket obviously this kind of goes in connection with the rain pants but 
Whereas rain pants, it's like maybe not. I think a rain jacket is always a yes. That's a yes. That's a yes. You have to have a windbreak and just provide so much warmth again for not much space that it's taking up. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Yay. Once again, I've got the Ortlieb panniers. I've got also a dry bag. I think it's more of a stuff sack than a dry bag. Oh yeah. Yeah. Stuff sack. So because my Ortliebs are already waterproof, I don't really need yeah. waterproof bag, but I do kind of like it to keep it separate from other things. I can put it in the tent and I can use it as a headrest as well. So mm -hmm. it's- You guys should see Darren when we're in the tent. She has like this whole little area she sets up. I got her system. Her, got her system. My packing cubes got destroyed and I- The, the zipper is just broke. Just pretend they're in there. Yeah. I brought a wool sweater. So this was a, a warmth layer. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely would bring this again. Mm -hmm. This is a smart wool um sweater with a little zip in the top right here i wore this oh yeah that's nice to have the zipper a yeah, low just, zipper for cycling because when you're does. cycling you can kind of like get yeah. a little airflow if you need Totes. i like to have like a long sleeve shirt instead yeah, of wearing i do sleeves. more like the sleeves i don't like sleeves and i don't like to wear sunblock so i just wear that's one of these shirt. yeah pretty that lightweight yeah and yeah if you could this is your like dress up shirt off the bike yeah yeah and then i picked this that's up in yes. new zealand this is a poofy wool <laughs> sweater situation. I'm so jealous of this thing. Um, Love this dress. I splurged and got it, and I would definitely bring this on every trip. On now. every trip now, because it's like it keeps you warm, just like in the center part, and then you've got breathable arms with the wool. Ooh. So I like it. Uh, eye mask. I would definitely bring this again. Because <laughs> sometimes the the full moon would be so bright, or there'd be a weird street lamp, or she would be up reading and I'm like, I want to go to bed and boom. boom, bed. Cool. So I brought socks. Three pairs, four pairs, Deep. that's enough. So I had sleeves as well. I would most likely not bring sleeves next I'll time. I'll thank you. I also had a buff and this was just one of a few cause I would yeah, literally we take, put it. We, I, we each had three buffs, I yeah. think. Cause I would put one on my head, head one neck. on my neck. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I would double up cause it got pretty cold. In the, oh, it's the a fall useful, and winter. useful piece of kit. That's 100. Uh, percent Yeah. Long underwear. These ones are polyester. That's a yes. Yes. Leggings. Good. Even in warm weather. Yes. Because it kind of adds protection. Like on. that can be your pants almost. Is mm -hmm. like put your long underwear and then your shorts over. Yeah. So I like if that it's a look. Warm, if you don't want to bring pants. Mm, these were my riding shorts. <laughs> I would bring these the again. The purple shorts. The maroon. The purple shorts. They got a little sun bleached because <laughs> I did wear them. Those are good though. Cool um, brand. Cool. I like cool brand. K-U-H-L. Minor um, mountain hardware. And they're stretchy. So I definitely recommend. And neither one of us wears padded cycling shorts. So no. we're just wearing these shorts. Yeah. With and our wool underwear. These come with a drawstring, which I also recommend because I lost weight. And so... <laughs> I was able to cinch ah, it point. tighter. Buy some with a drawstring. Because then once you will lose weight <laughs> and then they still fit. Uh-huh. Um, I also had off the bike shorts. These were board shorts. Now, would oh. I bring them again? I don't know. Because hmm. I don't know if I wore them enough. enough. Yeah. Now, Darren's shorts. a little more on the practical side. Yeah. I feel like you wouldn't bring them. No. you'd just be like, mm. Mm. But I do like them. So for home time, yes. <laughs> They're staying. They're staying. <laughs> and then underwear. Yeah. Sports no. bras, mm. obviously a must. I mean, mm. maybe not obviously. Some people probably are like, maybe the super grungy guys out there are going to say no underwear. Oh, you don't need underwear, right. Yeah. Mm. But yes. <laughs> but yes, you should. These mm. were riding gloves. I would highly recommend if it's oh, going to yeah. be cold I have gloves somewhere too. I would um, bring gloves again. Mm -hmm. So if you know you're going to go over a mountain pass, yeah, you're going to go down yeah, and it's going to be cold. <laughs> so I definitely brought a plethora of wool shirts. So one two, three, and then this was my bed shirt. These are my wool uh, jogger jogger pants, mm. and these were for bedtime or laundry days or lounging around. Definitely, definitely highly recommend something yeah. cozy like this. Yeah, these are nice. Mm -hmm. They're definitely nice. Yep. Probably around the same weight as mine too, maybe a little bit heavier. Yeah. This was just a purchase on the road. I didn't bring <laughs> this. Um, oh, cycling jersey, yeah. I'd say a miss. Ah. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would bring a cycling jersey. Anybody raging in the comments right now? Yeah, it just, it's polyester. Mm. It's gonna smell and there's no versatility to it. It's only on the bike. Right. Like, are you gonna That's wanna true. wear this off the bike? I'm not sure. Or for short trips, maybe weekend trips yeah. or. Cause it is nice to have those back pockets. Yeah, the back pockets are really nice and to have a little flare. Uh -huh. You know, that's always nice to have. But and to look like a cyclist. But 
for a but long no. distance, no. I would say no. Hmm. I had a rain jacket, and once again, I would <laughs> bring a rain jacket. Pets. Yeah, um, a little damaged. It got damaged, and sorry, right. that was our own fault, by the way. Darren leaned over and just burned a ginormous hole in her jacket. This is why I can't have nice things. Yeah, um, and then a down jacket. That's yes. a must. A lightweight down jacket. This is Patagonia. Mm. Honestly, or any. synthetic. Depending you could on do what synthetic. You want. Do mm. whatever. Rain pants. Cold. Yes. Cold weather. Yes. Warm weather. Warm rain. You wouldn't bring it. No. You just have an emergency blanket for no. like just in, just, just in, case. in case. It's crazy how much it is. Like when you start mm. taking it out, it's like good god. So I divided the bags up into clothing bag and food electronic miscellaneous bag. Okay. So this had our cutting board. Yes. 100% take. This is a bamboo small cutting board. Even if you were bikepacking? I would take this. Okay. Okay. Because it's so light. It is very light. Yeah. I don't think you can see how light this is. It feels like a piece of balsa wood. Mm. Probably like three ounces. Yeah. And it's just so easy to cut things up. I guess if I was going on like a two night trip and I had prepackaged meals yeah. and I knew I wasn't going to be cutting anything, mm. then no. Otherwise, yes. If you are fresh vegetable person person that wants to cook then yes <laughs> okay. i would take this okay. when mm. we didn't need it i wouldn't use it and roll it up but when yeah. i did i would definitely take a bladder yeah. obviously it's it's water capacity yeah it's, and it just takes up no room yeah when it's not filled so only when the times we knew that there wasn't going to be water then we'd fill it we'd fill it the electronics pouch and personal security items like our identification mm -hmm. and things like mm -hmm. that and extra cables. It was just mm -hmm. basically batteries, external batteries, mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, my headlamp. This extra headlamp boards. sucked. It got water in it <laughs> and the connection is no good. And bye -bye. compared to my old Tika, this is a pet's old Tika. My old one is better than this one. So I'm gonna... I've heard this online too. Like, can you guys please help us out because we are trying to find a good headlamp. And every review I read is like, my old one was so much better and reliable. My new one lasted great for a month and then it just randomly yeah. died. High vis vest. Yes. My like road kit, spare tube, my pump. Yep. We each had a pump just in case we got separated. Mm -hmm. A patch kit and an emergency blanket. Our dop kit, toothbrush, floss, clippers, ear spoon, <laughs> and Say tweezers, what? and Vaseline. This is our ear spoon. I love this thing. You don't need Q-tips, people. Korean ear spoon. This one's the best. Some chamois butter. And that was... Whoa. <laughs> we probably could, like, do away with this case, too, if we're going ultra minimal. Mm -hmm. But, again, it's like, I don't know. It's easy to find in your bag. Yeah. Brings you joy. It's kind of fun. We got this in Laos on our first trip, so. So this is the cook set. She made this bag. I just put everything that we cooked with in here. So we have a Trangia pot with a Vargo stove. I liked the Vargo stove. It... We could cook with wood or we could cook with alcohol. So it was nice cool. to have both. Mm -hmm. And it acts as a windscreen too. Um, so I had, had the spices and a little cloth in here. Would you try a different stove or would you stick with the alcohol? So if you are in countries where you know you'll get gas, maybe I would go with the propane butane mm. situation because it is more controllable with the flame. Yeah. The alcohol stoves, it's, it's just like it's one. A, yeah, it's a lot harder to control the heat. It like, is very economical. You can find alcohol anywhere. anywhere. Yeah. And it's less impact, I think, environmentally, because you're not just using these one use, you know, vac you know, mm. vacuumed containers. Yeah, do they recycle those? So doubt it. Yeah. So Okay. Okay. So you um, still you're still good with the alcohol. Like yeah. you haven't gotten annoyed with it. No. No. I no. like and I then when, if we wanted to cook with wood, I could use the alcohol as fuel mm -hmm. to start a fire. Yeah, that's true. That was nice. So it would just be a little bit of alcohol, and then so. we had these to carry the alcohol. A coffee filter, the drip. I would definitely recommend <laughs> a lightweight drip coffee filter. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can find these kinds of things. Yeah, but that was find that's alcohol. that's staying, right? And then yeah, that's staying for sure. And then a shower cap to cover the bike seat. The saddle and cover. It definitely worked. Boom. All right. I've got seat. Yeah, I liked having this. That is pretty nice. You want yours? Sure. It protected your bum in the computer. Protects your bum. I don't know. Oh, I thought I put them both in here. Right. So we had two of those. Now my butt's cold. <laughs> These are awesome. Yeah, I would put the computer on that, work on this. People would always be like, what's that? It's our like, lantern. It's our lantern. Just cut it off and then boom. Mm -hmm. Kind of fun. It worked. Kinda, yeah, 
Okay, kind of fun. I might bring it again. This is just electronics, so hard drives, my charging cable, things for the cameras. I could probably streamline this a little bit, but if we're going to be editing video, then, you know, this stuff is going to come with. So it's a bit of a, a bulky bag. What I could do actually is switch to the all SSD drives, and those are a lot smaller and thinner. I always talk about how much I love this thing. This would 100% come with me again, the Samsung portable SSD drive. Probably one of my favorite things that I have on the trip. It's so lightweight. If I just, I mean, for the average person, one of these would probably be sufficient for your photos or little video mm -hmm. clips. I could probably have a few of these and be good. Mm -hmm. So that would actually take away a lot of this bulk because this is a lot of heavy hard drives. Our computer, yes, I would definitely bring that again if we were gonna do a long trip and I was needed to edit. Maybe I'd look into something a little bit smaller and lighter or if we're gonna be doing shorter trips, then I won't be editing on the road and I won't have to do that. If you can avoid it, I wouldn't Definitely. bring a computer. Mm -hmm. You know, it is heavy, it's bulky. People are always like, how are you editing? You have a computer? Well, we met people bringing iPads and stuff. Mm -hmm. and I, yeah. You wouldn't? No. No. Your phone is big enough now to, to where... just do everything on the phone. Yeah. Because yeah. you had an iPad and you actually sent it back. Mm -hmm. You're like, I don't really, I just do it on my phone. I would say Kindle and a phone. Yeah. And a computer only if you are like having to work on the road and you have to have your own computer. Yeah. That would be, yeah. Case, actually, this felt case is fab fabulous. It has kept the computer very safe. Like, I do have another little stove that we had. For the long trip, I think it was nice to have two. So this mm -hmm. is another alcohol stove. So we could both be cooking something or heat up water on a yeah, shorter you trip. tea and coffee and then yeah. I would do meal. Like the meal, exactly. But I think it's not really necessary. And if we needed to cut down on space, I think this would probably go. The pocket, I have my pump gotta have that i love this pump the mini morph pump this it's is a good pump it's a really it's a nice better pump. pump than mine that's yeah. why i didn't mention it this mini morph is good yeah this is a good one we'd always have some dr bronner's love this soap you can do a lot with it you can wash your hair wash your face whatever don't really recommend washing my hair but in a pinch it could work don't wash your hair <laughs> don't wash your hair with it some duct tape some lube and I think we just had some extra tissue paper and yeah, that's what kind of would live in here. That's it, that's crazy, right? Like that, mm -hmm. was, our life. that was our life, that was our life on the road. I've got a few other things to show. Uh, quickly, I can just tell you, I had a very small handlebar bag. Mm. I would recommend a larger one because this is your cockpit. Oh, this is yeah. where you're accessing things. Mm, so, so you thought it was a little small? It was a little small. So I would recommend either a flip up handlebar bag or a roll one, mm -hmm. um, or the Ortlieb uh, yeah, handlebar see. bag, I would highly recommend that. And on the other hand was massive. Yeah, yours was gigantic bag. Maybe too Swift. big. Maybe too big. I did really like it, but I think for long, long-term touring, maybe it was a little bit on the too big side for me. And I didn't like that I couldn't close it all the way because it does just kind of like open like this. There's no like zippers or anything. So when it rained really hard, like my stuff would get absolutely drenched. So we I think- may have gotten critters. Yeah, I may have had a mouse or two in there. <laughs> so I think I'm with you. I do like the roll top kind of dry bag thing on the front or the ones that are like the trunk bags kind of similar to this. Mm -hmm. But I still love this bag just for long-term touring. I don't know. I think I just realized I wanted something else. Mm -hmm. But in here, I just had some of our maps, which I actually liked having the maps. I'm going to do a full review about using adventure cycling maps. Some other paper for sending people letters and things. I like having it, so that would be a keeper for me because that's something important. I like writing and I like communicating with folks that have uh, supported our journey along the way. Thank you to all those of you out there who have done so. Thank you. Yay! flat repair stuff. That's kind of what's in my front bag. I've emptied it, but I had tools and just, you know, the basic flat repair, like patches, emergency things, and some med first kit. aid med kit. That's all in there. I would definitely take that again. I think we could streamline it. Yeah. We could probably streamline it a little bit. We could do honestly, a video on that. We had to use it. Thank goodness. Twice. I mean, right? Once. Yeah. Hardly. Just a couple, like, your cut on your foot and cut on my finger. <laughs> Cut on your finger, my selfie stick. This is, I had the tools in here, but they were really on the bike at some point. This was one of the dry bags I used. I think you can use cheap dry bags like this. Like you don't need to get the super expensive ones. They do the job and I never had any problem with anything getting wet in here. Mm -hmm. This is what we had for our sleeping mat. X-Ped double mat. And we really, really liked that. So like body this. temperature was great. Yeah, You totally. can share body temperature. Mm -hmm. bag, if you have the option to get a mat that uses a pump bag, I would recommend it. I really liked our tent as well. 
But there's Big so Agnes. many tents. So I'm, I, love, I tent. love this tent, yeah. but there's a lot of tents out there mm-hmm. that I'm quite curious about. And then our sleeping bag was the Nemo Tango Duo. So this is a double. Ooh, it's so cozy. It's getting cold out here. This is a double sleeping quilt, and I would definitely do that again. We were mm-hmm. super happy with it. We were really comfortable. I felt like we had a really plush sleeping setup. Like yeah. other people would kind of be complaining, like, oh, I'm cold or I'm not comfortable. And my mat deflated in the middle of the night, and we never or once mm-hmm. had a problem with any of our stuff. We were always warm enough. Mm-hmm. Well, we had the silk sheet too on ours. Mm-hmm. So I definitely recommend putting a liner in your sleeping bag. It's going to help so much with cleanliness and warmth Mm -hmm. and just your happiness and comfort overall. Yeah, because it's nice to have a little... Mm -hmm. Stuff it back in there. It's waiting for another trip. Darren asked about my pillow. This is my Thermarest down pillow. Super luxury item. I would like to see what I would sleep like just using my clothes bag Mm -hmm. and see how I go because I would do my clothes bag and this on top and it was like extra comfy and Darren was jealous every night I was jealous so it's leaning towards keep Mm -hmm. but I'm not sure that's like a good amount of space if you're doing a bike packing setup I just have to use a clothes bag and suck it up because we also wouldn't be going for a year and a half most likely maybe I don't know for the future to tell but that means I like it a lot if I'm really Mm -hmm. it's this big and I'm really considering holding on to it so when you're riding all day, your well, sleep you made matters. This cover. Yeah, I made the cover. So yeah, the so pillows, come. the pillows on the inside. This is what it looks like. Oh, there's the pillow there. Yeah, it's quite nice. Oh, my bamboo spoon. I love my bamboo spoon. I'd never leave home without that. My mascot. <laughs> yes, I would bring my mascot again. Bring a mascot. It's fun. Treasure from home. Mm-hmm. Bring a cable bike lock. This is an Avis one. But you're with your bike most of the time. I really don't think a U-lock is necessary. You're not going to be using it that often, but you don't also just want to like leave your bikes unlocked forever. At yeah. least I don't think so. No. Um, okay, so what else did I want to talk about? I have the quad lock phone case. I would highly recommend taking it and having it on your bike, especially if you need to navigate. Uh, this was perfect, and I would take again. So a helmet, yep, definitely need a helmet. A selfie stick, if you're doing videos. I have my cameras that are being used right now, but I love my Sony action camera, and we also had a GoPro that came in really handy for mm-hmm. our trip. We would, I think we would take that again. If you're just using your phone, like that can do, that can go quite a ways mm-hmm. too, if you're like, again, trying to go really streamlined. Your mm-hmm. phone is a, does a great job. Yeah, it does a pretty good job. Yeah. Oh yeah, voile straps, I would definitely take those again. They're so much easier to put on than the other ones that you have to like, weave through mm-hmm. so i'm down for the volley strap blackburn cages blackburn but the cages, metal ones the metal ones they don't even look like they're worn a little bit no. like, these look like they're gonna last forever so yeah. really recommend those i have them on i have one on each side the salsa bag i put with the blackburn and that worked really well too pretty narrow so that's the only it downside is that you can't hold as much no. like this other bag could hold a lot more yeah so kind of just depends on how much you want to carry because mm-hmm. if you have the space you'll probably fill it yeah. So think about what you need and then work from there. Don't get a bag and then try to fill it up. Like, oh, what yeah. else can I take? Mm-hmm. Oh, my click stand. Um, I liked having my click stand. I didn't use it a ton. So I think on a smaller trip, I probably wouldn't. But for the long, the long trip, I was happy to have it mm-hmm. when I wanted it. But yeah, on a shorter trip, I probably wouldn't take this. Because you can always find something to lean it against. I almost always could find something. Peanut butter, mm-hmm. peanut butter in the bottle cage. That's a must. I would never change that. <laughs> Having a mirror, that was a nice addition. Mm-hmm. But then I also changed my setup in the front. So I didn't have these pockets before. I just had like a little bento box thing here. And I love these. I totally see now why people like them so much. The little mm-hmm. like snack bags. These are kind of ghetto versions of, it's just like a water bottle case. But this idea is brilliant. I really recommend it. It's mm-hmm. so easy to grab snacks out. You know, I would have like my selfie stick in there, sunscreen, mm-hmm. sunglasses. Darren had one and mm-hmm. that was probably I, one of your I would have two too. of them. I wouldn't just have one. Yeah. I'd get two. Two. Those pedals, we liked our flat pedals. We're not flipped in. Pedals. Platform kind of spiky pedals. Those worked really well. My water bottles. I think we would probably switch to having stainless steel mm-hmm. the next time. Maybe one plastic one, one that you can easily drink out yeah. of. I don't think you need to get an insulated plastic bottle. They just no. don't do enough and they're heavy for no reason because they just don't keep stuff and you warm can have or more cold. capacity. Yeah. So not, not don't insulated. go insulated on the plastic ones. If you're getting an insulated one, just deal with the weight of like yeah. the hydro flask. If you really want hot tea, hot tea or something in hot your water. tent. Yeah. yeah. Or cold. If or it's cold. hot. I hope you guys our, enjoyed our post tour uh, walkthrough of everything we brought and the things that we rummage through yeah, our <laughs> rummaging of our stuff. And hopefully you got some 
uh, information out of that and you can you can pack better for your own trip something that you would have brought on your own tour mm. good question that we missed yeah what or are we bring? crazy do we have too much stuff let us know <laughs> someone is going to say yes. is this mountain of stuff too much <laughs> all this. well we did get discard a little bit just think the more you carry the more effort it will be and the better fit you'll get <laughs> Totally. Although we did really realize that we want to be minimalist after this trip. Mm -hmm. Like you just want to get down to the bare essentials because everything else just starts getting in your way. And you're it's like, oh, yeah. I can't find that thing that I always use mm -hmm. because I've got all this other stuff on top that I don't use very often. So throw it away. So get rid of it. If you enjoyed that video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos down below. Subscribe. Link to more of our vlogs up here if you're curious to see about our actual trip now that it is over. Mm -hmm. But there's lots more coming, more bike packing, possibly with a dog. So that should be fun too. And we will see you guys next week.